Hey everyone, welcome back to Jashelle Tech TV. Recently, I got a question from Instagram. Can you do a tutorial about using Git with web hosts? Is there a way to upload your website to your host using GitHub? The docs are confusing. Working with web hosts, DNS settings and domains is one of the main tasks that I do in my role now as a web administrator. So I'll talk about how to point a domain name to a GitHub website. As a quick note, I've also linked some resources in the description that help explain some of the topics that I'll cover in this video. I'm going to use a domain that I have, for example, getintotech.io which is the jobs listing website that I maintain. Right now, I have getintotech.io pointing to a public spreadsheet. However, I have built this static HTML page that I'd like to display instead. As you can see, this page displays a logo, title, under construction message and a link to see all job postings, which links to the public spreadsheet. And the code for this page is hosted in a GitHub repository. To point my getintotech.io domain to this new static HTML page that I created, I'm going to complete the steps needed to configure this, which includes editing the GitHub repository settings and editing my DNS provider or host settings. In the GitHub repository where the code is hosted, I'll navigate to settings and pages. You can see that I've already taken this page live, your site is live at and this is the current URL to the site, jashelleper.github.io slash git dash coming dash soon. If I click on visit site, I can see the site. On this page under custom domain is where I'll make the change to point this GitHub page's site to getintotech.io. In this field, I'll type in getintotech.io and then save. And GitHub begins to perform a DNS check. The next step I'll need to do is log into my host or DNS provider to now point the domain to the GitHub site. The DNS provider I use for getintotech.io is namecheap.com. Of course, every DNS provider will look different as far as the user interface is concerned. You just need to get to the page where you can see and edit the DNS settings for your domain. This is the DNS settings page for Namecheap. Right now, as you can see, I have the DNS set to redirect getintotech.io to a public Google spreadsheet. And what I need to do is update these records to the appropriate records for GitHub. GitHub.com has an article for instructions on this called Managing a Custom Domain for your GitHub Pages site. You can set up or update certain DNS records and your repository settings to point the default domain for your GitHub Pages site to a custom domain. In this section, configuring an Apex domain and the www subdomain variant, GitHub explains the type of DNS records that you need to add. It says, we recommend configuring your GitHub pages site to host content at both the Apex domain and that domain's www subdomain variant. To set up a www subdomain alongside the Apex domain, you must first configure an Apex domain by creating an alias, a name, or a record with your DNS provider. After you configure the Apex domain, you must configure a CNAME record with your DNS provider. By Apex domain, they mean the root domain, so mydomain.com without www. And by subdomain, they mean www.mydomain.com, so the domain with www. In my case, the Apex domain would be getintotech.io, and the subdomain would be www.getintotech.io. To configure the Apex domain, github.com says to create an alias or a name record, point your Apex domain to the default domain for your site. I'm going to create a records. To create a records, point your Apex domain to the IP addresses for GitHub pages. So I'll need to create four a records pointing to these IP addresses. Back on namecheap.com, I'll create them. So I'll need to add new record, a record, set to at and by the way the at symbol indicates that this is a record for the root domain which again is just plain get into tech.io without the www and i'll need to put in the ip address and i'm setting time to live or ttl to one minute and i'll add three more a records set to at at 
and put in the remaining IP addresses. The IP addresses are to let the records know where to point, which is GitHub server. So I'm gonna go ahead and save all changes. And finally, to configure the subdomain, github.com says to navigate to your DNS provider and create a CNAME record that points your subdomain to the default domain for your site. For example, if you wanna use the subdomain www.example.com for your user site, create a CNAME record that points www.example.com to user.github.io. And this is exactly what I wanna do, point www.getintotech.io to my GitHub site. The CNAME record should always point to user.github.io or organization.github.io, excluding the repository name. Back on namecheap.com, I'll create the CNAME record. So add new record, CNAME record set to www, aka www.getintotech.io. And the target is jeshelloper.github.io. Jeshelloper is my GitHub username and set time to live one minute and then save. It can take up to 24 hours for all the changes to apply. And I'll also delete my old records that were redirecting the domain to the Google spreadsheet. As a note, there are a couple of tools that you can use to check the DNS status. One, your computer's terminal, use the command dig, followed by the domain, and enter. It will show you the records here in the answer section. There's also a site called whatsmydns.net that I use almost every day at work. So first I'll check the CNAME status, www.getintotech.io drop down to CNAME and then search and I can see the status. And then for the Apex records, the domain without www, drop down to A, search, and I can see the status. So now that the DNS is fully propagated, the getintotech.io domain will now point to the new GitHub page and the new website is now live. So you can see that it no longer points to the Google spreadsheet. It now points to the static HTML page that I created hosted on github.com. And in GitHub pages, you can also see the updated URL. One of the nice things about GitHub is that there's an option to enforce HTTPS to secure your website. This box can be checked in the custom domain section and it says HTTPS provides a layer of encryption that prevents others from snooping on or tampering with traffic to your site. When HTTPS is enforced, your site will only be served over HTTPS. So when I navigate to getintotech.io in the browser's address bar, you'll be able to see that the site's connection is secure. So that is how you can connect your domain to a GitHub repository. Again, I've also linked some resources in the description. I'll slowly be working on the website for getintotech.io. So this static page that I created is actually what I wanna use for now while I work on the website. And in the meantime, you can still access the jobs listing sheet via this link. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.